I'm going to start some yeast cultures, some liquid yeast cultures for use in your experiments, and I'm going to go through the procedure on how you should do that. In order to keep all of the components sterile in this process, we're going to use a flame. So in order to turn that on, I am going to turn the gas port 90 degrees from the off position and use a striker to start the flame. Then I'm going to turn the gas back a bit to lower the flame. A couple of safety precautions with this procedure is never wear gloves while you're doing this procedure because the gloves are highly flammable. And in addition, you want to um, you know, roll up any long sleeves, tie back your hair if it's really long, and don't lean over the flame. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is take a sterile test tube from the rack provided to you and briefly flame the top of it. The reason for this is to get the air moving upwards in the tube so that when you open it, contaminants from the air won't come down in. And then you would go to the refrigerator and get out culture media. We have, in this case, two different tubes, one marked with an L that is low phosphate media and the other with an H that is high phosphate media. And you can see those markings. Okay. I'm going to prepare a low phosphate culture. So I will unscrew the top and again briefly flame it. Then I have a P5000 pipetter that is set to deliver 5,000 microliters or 5 mils of media. The sterile tips are here. Please keep them covered with foil. Five mils of media. Grab the top and dispense it into the test tube. At this point, you can lay that down, briefly flame again, and put the tube there. And then re secure the top on the media to keep that sterile. These P5000 pipetters don't have an expeller, so you just Grab the tip and dispose of it in the plastic bag provided. Okay, so now we have our media in our tube, and the next job is to, um, in a sterile manner, grab a colony off an agar plate and get it into the tube so that we can start our culture. We have um, sterile disposable loops that we're using, and when they're first opening a bag, there's a perforated tab that comes off and then there is basically a Ziploc bag and you would when you're obtaining your loop you don't want to put your hands all over the inside of the bag because that would contaminate it so what you can do is push up some of the loops and grab one trying not to touch the edges at all of the bag okay. then the plates that are provided I'll let you have a close-up of this. Have individual colonies on them. And you want to grab one individual colony. So I'm going to plate down. I'm going to grab a colony. And they're pretty sticky, so it's easy for it to stick to the loop. Then I'm going to go back to my test tube that I prepared, briefly flame again and then put the loop down into the media and shake it quite a bit. The colonies are sticky, so they don't want to come off the loop. Okay? Then that loop is disposed of. Flame the top and vortex to break up the colony. It'll grow much better if it's broken up. I want to point out on another plate something that you shouldn't do. You can see on this plate that someone has swiped across not individual colonies, but a lawn of colonies. And that's not the proper way uh, to do it. You should be grabbing individual small colonies to start your cultures. Okay, now that I have my culture started, I can turn off the flame. 
And then I want to identify the culture. So just use a small amount of tape on the top of the lid to identify your group. That'll make it a lot easier to pull your cultures out tomorrow when they're ready. And then the rest of your identification should go on the tube itself. So your strain number and your group number again. And then you would put whether you had high or low media. Okay? All right. Um, one thing you do not want to do is tape the bottom of your top shut because that will um, preclude air from getting into your cultures and they won't grow very well. It also uses a lot of tape which is expensive so just put a small amount of tape on the top of the culture. At this point the culture is ready to go back to the roller drum and um, we will demonstrate how to use that in class but just remember that if you only had one tube you would grab a balance tube from the rack provided because you have to balance the weight of the tubes before you turn on the roller drum. At the end of the procedure, after you're done putting all your cultures away, you're going to want to wash your hands before you leave the lab.